this practice exercise in instructions are small code is big so let's get right into it we want to write a method named is magic square so let's start off with a public and then we'll do is magic square and it accepts a two-dimensional array of integers as parameter so that means we'll have int and we'll just call this arr that's our parameter and we want to return if it is true if it's a magic square and you can read what a magic square is right here just pause it read it really quick um, and then we'll get into it I'm going to also make this a static boolean because we need to return true or false so that is boolean now let's get straight into this so what we are going to want to do is have some checks the first thing is we are going to want to um, check the first row length and the reason why we want to check the first row length is because we can then compare this to the other row lengths to see if they're equal or not to see if we have the same number of elements inside of it now we also need to calculate the sum of the first row and then we're going to compare that to all of the columns and then we're going to also compare that diagonally as well it's a lot so first thing we'll do the kind of easiest thing we'll do is we will calculate for the first row sum and this one is pretty, this is the easiest part, this is pretty simple. So for this one, we're just going to have a for loop. We're going to do int, and we want to go through every column in the first row. So we'll do column is equal to zero, and then we'll do run this as long as column is less than our ARR at index zero dot length. And this is just getting the length of the first row. So we get that length, and we'll do column plus plus, that way we can run through it all. And then from here, we are going to want to add to a sum that we can hold. So let's make another variable int sum, and we'll say it's equal to zero initially. And then we're gonna say sum plus equals to our ARR at the um, index zero. Remember it's row and then column. So when we say zero here, that means it's row zero. And then we are going to have a column here, and that's continuously incrementing that way we can go through every single column in our first row. So hopefully you understand that. Super important before we go on to the next steps. The next thing we are going to do is essentially check the row length. So to check the row length, um, we want to basically run through, we have the, we know the size of the first row, right? It's essentially gonna be ARR dot length. So knowing that ARR dot length um, if we go through the next rows and it doesn't equal our ARR dot length, we'll return false. Also inside of here, we're going to compare, and this is going to be the sum of every row to the first, because remember each rows to be a magic square has to be the same. So let's start this off by going through the rows, right? So this one, we looked at columns in the first row. This one, we want to go down and look at all the rows, right? So we'll say int row. We've already looked at the first one, right? We're, we're assuming that it's going to um, be a value, right? Because we're gonna be comparing it to arr.length, not just arr0.length. So assuming this, we, we can set this to one, equal to one, and we are going to run our row less than our ARR dot length. So we're running it as less than the um, longest, our length. And then we're gonna do row plus plus. So this is going to be basically what runs us through every single uh, row. Row is again equal to one, we're starting this out, and we're gonna run it as long as it is less than the length, and then we are increasing it every single time to look at it. Now, if our current row, um, the current row length, does not equal to our first row length, then we want to return false. So the way we're gonna do this is a simple condition. So we'll do if our current row so arr right that's the array we'll pass in this row dot length is not equal to our arr dot length right or the longest row then we are just going to return 
false. So that is our first check kind of complete. After this, we want to compare the sum of every row to the first row's sum. So we know we have the first row sum right here. And now we want to, since we are going through every single row, right, we're going downwards, we want to compare every row sum to this. So let's start by making a temporary variable. We'll call this current row. We'll set it equal to zero. We're going to run this as long as, so we have our current row equal to zero. We need to then fill this, right? And so assuming we're on, like, let's say the second row, we want to now go through all the columns and add them together. So we'll start off with our column equal to zero. We're going to want to run this as, col as long as our column length is less than our current row length. That's super important. So we'll do ARR. We're passing in our row dot length here. And that's going to keep us within our boundary. And then we'll just do column plus plus. Although it, it should be fine if we don't have this. If I can remember, we'll we'll come back to this because um, if essentially if, if it doesn't return false here, all the lengths should be the same. So that's just important to note right there. We can come back and see if this affects anything afterwards. But we'll just keep it there for safety right now. Inside of our for loop, just like we did with our sum right here, we are going to want to add to our current row. And I'll just actually paste this in here so you can see how similar it is. So we're storing an int current row. We're going to append to it our current, um, all the columns. So all the columns in our current row. So we have plus equals ARR. We want our current row and then our current column. And that's pretty much it. So that's the only change from here. You can see it's quite similar. We're just doing some additional checking because we have to go through every single row now. And this for loop is going to help us here. Hopefully that all makes sense so far because that's pretty much it. We're going to close this part of our code. We're just going to compare now. So at the end of all of our rows, we want the current row or well, not even at the end of all of our rows because we have it inside of here, right? So at the end of our current row, we want the um, row sum, we want the current row sum to equal that of the original sum. And if we do that, then we are okay. If it doesn't, we can return false. And that's what we're going to want to put inside of here. So if our current row does not equal to the sum, we can then return false. That's pretty much it for the row length. We can close off our for loop. Um, it seems like I'm missing something here. So where does this connect to? Unsure. So we'll just do another one here that closes off here. It looks like we have um, a bracket missing somewhere. Might be right here. I actually put a semicolon. So we can close off this for loop. Now, we can now move on to our columns. So we've checked the row lengths. So all of our rows should be the same. Now we have to check if down all of our columns added together are the same. I implore you to try this yourself. Uh, it's pretty similar to checking the row length. It's actually very similar. You're just kind of switching things around and you don't have to do as much checking. So this one is checking for columns. Here we started with rows. Now we are going to start with columns. So for int column is equal to zero. We want to run this as long as our column is less than our error dot length. So our longest length, right? And then we'll do column plus plus. And that's pretty much it for our for loop, right? Just, just the header that we have here. The only difference is we're looking at columns. So we want to start at the first column. Oh, we also need a variable that stores our uh, value. So the current column value. So we'll do int current column and we'll set it equal to zero initially. That way we can just change anything. We can add it. We can add to it just as we did here. If we're going to have a for loop. That way we add through all the columns. Remember, we are starting at the very zeroth column and we want to go all the way down. So now we want to go through the rows opposite to what we have here. 
we have int row is equal to zero and we want to run row as long as less than our arr dot length we don't need to do any additional like um parameters or anything to check the length because by now we should know that is all the same we'll do row plus plus and then inside of here we will set our current column we're really just appending to it actually we're not even setting anything we're going to append to our current column which means you do plus equals a arr at our current row and then at the current column so that part doesn't really change it just changes what order it's in what we're looking at same thing right as we have right here we're just going to want to do a check so if our current column does not equal to our sum we're just going to return false and that's pretty much it for our columns we can close off our for loop and now we can check diagonally diagonally is pretty similar as well it's actually just as simple as this one for checking diagonally we're going to be looking at the zero the zero zero index because remember we have two kind of values that we have to look at in terms of length and height but if we're going diagonally we're looking at zero zero one one two two pretty much the same thing all you need is a single for loop that's all you need we're going to make a variable to store this we'll do int and we'll just call this die for diagonal set it equal to zero we're almost done so we'll do four int and we'll do we'll just do um we'll do a is equal to zero because this is going to qualify for the row and the column so in a is equal to zero we'll do a is less than our arr dot length and we'll do a plus plus inside of our for loop we are going to set our die plus equals to our arr at our a a because this is going to go diagonally the last thing that we need to do here, and this is it for the entire method, because we already have everything else, I believe, checked, is we want to return the if our die is equal to our sum. Let's close this off and submit. It's running our test. We passed 4 out of 15, and it looks like we have an array out of bounds um, when it is 0. So when there's nothing in here, um, it returns nothing when it should return true so that's actually really simple to fix because if it returns nothing that means we have no no confliction here and we can we can hard we can code this ourselves right now so we want it to return true all we need to do here is for zero case if our arr dot length does equal to zero we can just return true and if it wanted us to return false we could just say return false so let's resubmit this and we passed 15 out of 15 tests. So that is how you go about coding this problem. These are the tests. These are my code. So we have the uh, simple stuff right here. For zero case, we have the sum, row length, and then we have our columns right here, and then checking diagonally. Pretty good code. Maybe save this video in case you do more two-dimensional array stuff because it'll be pretty similar format to this when you're looking across two-dimensional arrays. You can build off this.